Hi YouTube, I'm back for my week two weigh-in on my liquid diet. Um, when I weighed in this morning, I, I just had this feeling, like the, the day, the past couple of days, that my weigh-in wouldn't be a tremendous loss. When I weighed in on Sunday, um, my weight was 100, no, I wish, <laughs> 239 pounds. Uh, which was only 0.6 below what it had been on Wednesday. So even though like three and a half days had gone by, I'd only lost 0.6 pounds. Um, <clears throat> so I just had a feeling that this week's weight loss wouldn't be great. And actually, it turned out I gained a pound. Um, or like a pound and, and like a little bit. Um, 240.4. Um, so that's up. 1.4 pounds from my lowest point um, last week, which kind of sucks um, because you know I, I've been really doing doing this pretty strictly. Um, I'm realizing now, now that I'm thinking about it, like there were a couple nights that I went out with some of my friends and I had I had like three or four drinks. Um, and I, I kind of gave myself leeway because I'm like, oh, you know, I'm only having like a shake for breakfast. Like my shakes are about 200 calories. Um, and then my meal at the end of the day, uh, I don't know the exact caloric count on that, but if I was doing it with Weight Watchers, because I know the point system fairly well, it would be about 15 points. So I figured I was getting in about 20 points a day which was under the 30, which would be for me. Um, <clears throat> but I guess it, it, I don't know, maybe I, I just haven't been keeping very accurate um, counts on things. So, fickle fickle me. Um, I think what I'm going to do is tomorrow I'm going to go to a Weight Watchers meeting. Because um, I've never been to a meeting, I've never really done the group weight loss thing. Um, I did LA weight loss a few years ago and um, you know having the accountability of the weigh-ins I, I did like. Um, one thing I like about Weight Watchers so in terms of going to the meetings there's one there's tons of them around so there's one in my neighborhood um, less than 10 blocks away so I can easily easily walk that. So I'm gonna go tomorrow just to see how I like it. Um, because I, my, my main goal is to really get in shape. I want to be an athlete. I want to surf and I want to climb a rock wall and I want to be able to, you know, just be mobile. I want to dance all night, um, you know, and so in terms of that, my fitness, I'm doing pretty well. Um, huge long bike ride a few nights ago. One of the nights that I went drinking, that's actually why I was like, oh, it doesn't matter if I have four drinks because I rode my bike for three and a half hours today. Um, pretty tough rides, a lot of uphills. Um, I didn't realize how many uphills until at the end of the night I'm like, okay, let me get home already. Um, and I, I've still been doing my yoga every day uh, in the morning and I feel wonderful about that. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm certainly not going to let this get me off track. Um, as a matter of fact, in my in my plan for my liquid diet, because I, I came up with it myself too, so, you know, I think, I don't know, I know so much about, like, nutrition and this and that, but, um, I don't, I don't know, I'm just going to go to this meeting, see how it works out, I'm still going to keep my calories low, I'm still going to work out. Um, actually today I had planned that every Wednesday would be my sort of free day. So I would have, instead of two shakes and a meal, I'd have two meals and a piece of cake. Um, so I put in my order at the restaurant where I eat, and I ordered two of my favorite meals and a piece of cake. And I got the order wrong, um, and they only gave me one meal and one piece of cake. But as I was eating it, um, this morning I just finished, um, like about halfway through it, and this is something like I normally like eat a whole one plus a piece of cake, no problem. Um, 
halfway through, or maybe two thirds through, but I got it full and I was just like, I don't want to do this, like, I'm just going to save this for later, this will be my, my dinner or something, and I did the same thing with the cake, lovely cake, there's still a half a piece, and I'm very satisfied, so, um, you know, the thing about my, my journey in horse fitness, I know this isn't going to take me a long time. Um, this is going to take me, realistically, at least a year to get where I want to go. Um, so I've got to, I've got to really think for the long haul, what do I want to do? Um, I'm also thinking that maybe having a restaurant meal a day isn't exactly the best for my waistline or my pocketbook. Because you never know exactly how much, like if they put more oil and things or even just looking at recipes, like one or two extra tablespoons of oil adds a whole ton of fat. So um, I am going to start cooking. It's something that I don't enjoy doing. Um, but I think I've talked about this before. One of my favorite weight loss bloggers, PastaQueen.com, um, she just recently wrote a great book. Um, called Half Assed uh, about her journey towards losing more than 180 pounds. Um, and one of the things she said at the beginning, how she really she didn't enjoy cooking, it was just drudgery, she had to do it. And I'm thinking that that's the way it's going to be for me. But at the end of her journey, or at the end of her book rather, she talks about how she really in, she got to really enjoy cooking. Um, and I figure I'm already on a good way with the fitness. I'm already enjoying that. I love doing my bike rides. I'm going to do another pretty long one today. Um, so, you know, there, there are benefits. My stomach's getting small. I am more flexible. I feel great and energized. Um, I, I do want the weight to come down. Um, I know it's going to take a while, but I want to see steady climb down. So I think that's going to mean no drinking, um, which is not going to be the easiest thing in the world, especially since I go out a lot. Um, I have a band, I have a lot of friends, but I'm going to do this because, you know, I mean, booze is great, but it's certainly not as great as the size eight. <laughs> Alright, um, I will see you guys, oh, oh, um, also, I decided this summer I'm not going to wait to get clothes. I'm sorry this is so cute long, um, but I, I went on a cute little summer shopping wardrobe, so let me show you my, I'm going to say apartment, but one of my new outfits. <laughs> so apparently, uh, skirts are not in season for plus size ladies this summer, so I had to buy lots of shorts, which I, I never do, I never buy shorts, um, there's a first for everything, anyway, I got my whole wardrobe for like less than 300 bucks, um, so that's great, it's stuff that is, you know, I, I'd rather wear a bunch of different things, but hey, it's cute for what it is, so I will see you guys back next week, I'll let you know how my Weight Watchers meeting went, and I am going to keep posting every week, whether I gain or lose, okay, because I'm always making progress towards the better, always getting more fit. <clears throat> I can do my downward dogs a lot better now. Okay, see you next week.